Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. A very good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News on TV1. We're coming to you live and direct from the News First studios here in Colombo. Let's first start off with a look at the stories that made it to your headlines this afternoon. Appeal Court issues stay order preventing action against Gotabe Rajapaksa. Landslide warnings issued owing to heavy rain. Travel along upcountry railway lines disrupted. North Korea says new missiles put all of US in striking range. Now starting off with your top story this afternoon, the Court of Appeal today considered the petition filed by former Secretary of Defence Gota Beraja Paksa. A stay order was issued against action being taken against him under the Public Property Act. The stay order will be in effect until the 6th of December. The bench comprised of Chairman of the Court of Appeal, LTB Dehidenia, and Justice Sharan Gunaratna. Now in a weather update this afternoon, the National Building Research Organization issued a landslide warning to the Matale and Kandy districts following the recently experienced rains. Several areas in these districts have experienced showers exceeding 75 millimeters within the past 24 hours. Railway travel along Ohoya and Ihalagasinna came to a standstill owing to an earth slip. According to the railway control room, the Udarata Manike train travelling from Badulla to Colombo has been suspended. The night mail train scheduled to travel from Colombo to Badulla was disrupted. Later steps were taken to transport the mail through buses. An earth slip was reported from Haliella. A store in the Haliella town was damaged at around 8 last night. Vehicular movement came to a standstill along the Nuara Elia Badulla main road owing to a collapse of an earth embankment. According to the latest weather report issued by the Met Department, another low-level atmospheric disturbance is formed to the southeast of Sri Lanka, resulting in the prevailing showery and cloudy conditions over the island and surrounding sea areas will continue further. Showers or thunder showers will occur in most parts of the island. Now in more local news, the Sri Lanka Land Reclamation and Development Corporation has taken steps to prevent the illegal reclamation of low-lying areas in close proximity to the Karadiana garbage dump. A group of officials from the Sri Lanka Land Reclamation and Development Corporation toured the area after receiving information regarding an illegal landfill. The officials arrived in the area along with members of the security forces. A tense situation occurred between the officials and an individual who allegedly claimed ownership of the illegally filled plot of land. Thereafter, steps were taken to restore the land that was illegally filled to its original state. The 35th annual general meeting of the Sri Lanka Apparel Exporters Association was held yesterday. Minister of Finance and Mass Media Mangal Samaravira attended the event. Para tariffs will be removed over a three-year period, which will enhance the spirit of competition and uh, contestation in the economy and in fact uh, I'm sure you know that even last night by Gazette we removed the para tariffs of 1,200 items which will be the first step in liberalizing this whole sector. The government is also supportive of the industry's effort to link with the global value chains. Steps have been taken to enhance market access with the revival of the GSP Plus and the soon to be concluded FTAs with China, Singapore and India. As Sri Lanka needs to build its foreign earnings, the role of the apparel industry is more important than ever. The government has taken steps to create the enabling environment for further export growth and it is my wish to see numerous other industries breaking into export markets with the same success as the apparel sector. The convocation of the Academy of Design was held last evening. Minister of Telecommunication and Digital Infrastructure Harin Fernando and the British High Commissioner to Sri Lanka James Darius attended the event. Never worry about failures. Never worry about 
lot of people criticizing you. As long as you know, even with your design, even if somebody doesn't like it, if you like it, keep doing what you like. Do not let anybody bring you down. Even though my balloon fell down, I would not let go. I would put another balloon up again. And I'm not worried about it. I'm not ashamed about it. Because I know it was the best thing that could have happened if the balloon worked. Entire country would have had 4G technology. As British High Commissioner here in Sri Lanka, I am often struck by the uh, breadth of the educational links that our two countries are fortunate to enjoy. Through universities, through schools, through the British Council, through music and dance, through English teaching and exams, and through lots of professional associations. Figures show that for every one pound Investing, invested in, uh, in design in the UK, businesses can expect a return of five pounds. Put it another way, for every 1,000 rupees invested in design, Sri Lankan businesses too should be able to expect a design of 5,000 rupees. Of course, the country will need to have in place the right policies and make the right reforms. A foiled attempt by a group to rob a foreign currency exchange centre in Aluthgama was caught on CCTV camera. And some news from President Maithripala Sirisena's visit to South Korea. Official talks between the President and Korean President Moon Jae-in commenced this morning. President Maithripala Sirisena is on a three-day official visit to South Korea. Several bilateral discussions will be inked during the discussions. And with that, we wrap up lunchtime news on TV1 this afternoon. To follow these details of these stories and more, you can log on to our website, www.newsfirst.ok. I'm Charlotte Benedict for the News First team. Your latest news update will come your way at 1.55. Good day.